Hi, let's look at number three for the performance exam review. We're uh, asked in this question to find the lateral surface area of a square pyramid whose base is 10 inches and whose slant height is 6 inches. Okay, another example of being careful of what you're reading, what's being asked. Notice here we are asked for what's the lateral surface area, not just the surface area of the entire prism. I mean, or the entire pyramid. Um, so we need to understand what lateral surface is. Remember when we refer to lateral surface areas, we're talking about the area of everything but the base or bases of your prism or your polyhedron. So in this case, for this pyramid, we're looking for the surface area of all the triangular faces. Okay, so we're told that we have a slant height of six inches. So we need to remember that the slant height refers to the altitude of the triangular face. And again, that's uh, six inches. And we're told the base height, or the base, whose base is 10 inches, so the length of the base is 10 inches. Uh, the, the length of the base of the, you know, the square base, which is also the length of the base of the triangle. Um, if you understand surface area, you don't really need a formula. You could just add up the, the area of each individual uh, face of the, of the polyhedron. In this case, we could find the area of one triangle, one half times six times ten, which is thirty, and we have four triangles. So uh, four times thirty is one twenty. So the lateral surface area is one hundred and twenty. Um, square inches. All right, but let's look at also using the formula. We have, let's look at this formula here. We have two, the surface area of, you know, the lateral surface area is going to be two times this regular L represents the length of the base, which is 10. And the cursive L represents the slant height, which is six. And L squared, the, remember this L represents the length of the base. So uh, L squared would be the area of the, of, the, of the square base. We don't need that. All right, so we just have 2 times 10, which is 20, times 6, which is 120. So the lateral surface area is 120 square inches. And that's what we need. That's what we're looking for for number 3.